Yo guys, welcome back to another One Frames with me. On my way home from work, making YouTube videos like I do. Anyways, I'm just gonna grab a couple of night shots here, so I figured I might as well let you guys uh, see my process. I am using the Moment app right now again. Super, I'm, I'm really happy with this app so far. Only issues I have is like sometimes when the phone is in horizontal mode, like it takes a picture and the picture's kinda like upside down or something weird. But anyways, I can correct that in, you know, Snapseed or in, in Lightroom so it doesn't really bother me. But anyways, enough of the jibba jab. I'm gonna grab a couple of shots here and show you guys some of, you can see my process that I do uh, as far as some of my night shots. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around. There's this bridge I always pass by on my way home and I figured it'd be a good, cool subject for tonight's photos. Let's flip over. So the first thing I want to do here, I'm going to take one here. Uh, I already kind of have it dialed in, but if you guys want to see some of my settings, basically. Uh, first thing I like to do is basically take my ISO and bring it all the way down. That gets rid of the noise. And then second, what I'll do is grab my shutter speed. Now you can see here, if I take it towards this side, it's pretty much dark. The faster, the faster shutter speed I go to the slower. My main thing with the cell phone when I'm filming or shooting, pictures or videos see how it looks right now I do not like the highlights blown out like that I like to save the highlights even if my video or video or my pictures are a little more dark I like to to save my highlights and preserve my highlights so I will dial this down until it doesn't look blown out like about right there for me using the shutter speed uh, let's see here's my ISO as low as possible my um, EV is pretty much just standing I'm leaving that right where it's at and most people will just snap this shot, you know, frame it up here in the center. You see I got my rule of thirds. Uh, I like to just kind of line everything up. Let's take this one here. Oh, this wind is blowing really hard up here. I'm on this bridge. Okay, that's cool, but, you know, it's a little boring. I'm going to try to do something a little different. Let's see if I can line it up like this. Get one like that. Then I will probably also flip. I always like to flip and get one at the other angle, give myself a couple options, you know. And then you can also see here, I got my autofocus is in uh, pretty much focusing up there on the top there. So uh, let's get one more just in case it wasn't in focus. Line that up there. Get everything kind of centered up. Boop. Good. My white balance, I already readjusted it because it wasn't what you guys were saying. Originally, it was kind of like heavily on the orange side, more like this. So. I adjust my white balance just to basically try to replicate what I'm really seeing and I'm seeing more of this blue than anything. Uh, what other shot? Let's see if we can grab another shot here. I'm going to have to basically open everything up here. Let's grab my uh, EV and let's kind of like open that up so you can see what I'm looking at here. Way too bright so the first thing I'll do is bring that down just to, to preserve, again, saving my highlights. I don't really care about the dark. I wanna save my highlights. My ISO is back up. Let's bring that back down. I'm gonna go to my shutter speed and just dial it into a war. Again, I don't mind being on the dark side. I can maybe kinda of bring some of the high, uh, the shadows back inside of a post after. That's way too bright. Let's bring that down. And this photo, this, this is kind of a weird shot, but just practice guys and I'm gonna get one shot like that good that looks pretty cool let's see what we got over here let's see what we got over here we got some middle Briggs action here again bring my highlights down my ISO all the way down and I already kind of liking that let's bring that down just a little bit more Ooh, check that out now let's get the angles lined up kind of weird and I bring it all right about there snap that boom alrighty let's bring you guys back to me Let's see, and of course, let's go ahead and readjust it for me. Alrighty, almost getting there, getting close, getting close. Uh, I got my ISO, let's go to the exposure. Woo, way too bright. Now see, most people will leave their video here and be happy with it. No, 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 I wanna save the highlights, guys. For example, I will bring this down to about right there, and that's still a little bit too bright for me. Like, if I could, I would bring this even lower. So, let's see. If I was doing video, which I am right at this moment, like, I don't mind this right here. That's cool. Look at that. Got a little bit of cinematic lighting there, a little Rembrandt lighting right there. Fantastic. Cool. Anyways, guys, let's go jump in and edit this photo. Um, I'll edit it as soon as we get home. Let's go.